James Melendez, James the Wine Guy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really excited about this wine. Recently, I was in Santa Cruz Mountains doing a lot of tasting and uh, tasting of wines, that is. And um, for me, it's a great way of discovering other producers. That's a way that I discover producers. Of course, I go to a lot of wine events, but not every producer is there. Sometimes you just got to hit the trail and start walking around or driving around and, um, you know, talking to people and finding out what's going on, what's happening. Uh, tell me some uh, producers you like. And uh, so seeking them out is really important. So here we go. Uh, this is a really beautiful Grenache. Now, it is uh, from Santa Clara County, uh, but that's um, uh, created in uh, Santa Cruz Mountains and actually Santa Cruz itself called Odonata. That is the Odonata. That is the dragonfly. That is the uh, ordered name for this um, um, uh, insect. So you see it here on the cork itself, which I think is really cool. 2011 vintage Grenache from the Machado Creek Vineyard. 2011 vintage, 14.2% ABV. Back panel for inspection. So um, you're going to find this really easily. So if you're going to be traveling, I do recommend a, a visit to Santa Clara, Santa Cruz Mountains. Easy to get to from San Francisco. So you take the scenic route on Highway 1 going south. You're going to run right into Swift Road, which is called the Surf City Vintners. And this is on Mission Street. So it's easy to find, easy to get to, plenty of parking. Uh, for me, it's just really, you know, first, you know, I don't get to Santa Cruz Mountains that often, and I should. Uh, I travel a lot. I'm really, uh, you know, so uh, committed with doing so many visits here and there and, you know, superbly busy. That's not a good enough reason to not visit more often. I will. Um, but for me, I think it's a fantastic region and uh, I definitely recommend. So San Francisco is a really great epicenter to Napa, of course, Sonoma, Livermore Valley, and the Santa Cruz Mountains. So uh, beautiful notes on this wine. I, I opened up this wine and I thought, oh, this is really a lyrical, gorgeous Grenache that um, that I seek out, that I crave actually, and uh, as I like to say for Grenache, I don't, I didn't really uh, enjoy this wine, this variety to begin with. It was like, eh, if there's nothing else around, I guess I'll take that, uh, or if there's something you know other than Grenache, I'll take that. But instead, I've come to love Grenache and come to really seek it out, and uh, I think it's a fantastic variety. It goes with so many different foods as well as on its own. So beautiful set characteristics on this wine. You're getting notes of. Dense underbrush, freshly cut roses, gorgeous, uh, juniper forest, and moistened earth. So here we go. Take a taste of the wine. Tell you what it's like and give a point score. Mm. Flavor notes in that very uh, telltale sign of Grenache, that red, crushed red candy characteristic. Getting notes of early season, cherry, black pepper, chili guajillo, and clove. I give this one a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale for more wine infused. James, the wine guy .com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, Pinterest. If you like this video, actually right over here, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, uh, click right down here below and uh, give a like. I'd appreciate that very much. And uh, definitely recommend a visit to this very friendly, nice tasting room. And you can taste other uh, wines from other producers in a very, uh, you know, very friendly area to be in. Easy to walk around in this area and tasting great uh, wines and as well as food. For more wine reviews, jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Thank you and salud.